Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I just wanted to make a quick video here to show you how things around here can actually get pretty out of hand as far as just the accumulation of various projects cluttering up my workbenches. I mean, a lot of this stuff doesn't even have to do with my work here on guitars. There's, you know, junk from projects that I'm working on in the house or out in the chicken coop invariably end up in here from time to time. So, I just kind of wanted to show you how things do get out of hand over here. So what I'm actually working on right now, trying to work on, trying to work through the mess, is I'm thicknessing tops and backs over here on the thickness sander. As you can see, I've got this smaller hose duct taped to a larger um, attachment here on my hood. And that's just, you know, the reality right now because I've sort of dismantled my previous setup for dust collection. And right now I am dust collecting as much as I can the whole shop with just my Festool shop vac here, which is fantastic, but it's just one tool for cleaning up the dust. And with a shop this size, I need something uh, more central, more comprehensive, something that covers the whole shop, like a central dust collection system does. And so being sort of in limbo here, you know, being between dust collection systems, it gets exceptionally dusty, as you can see here. Yep, don't drink in the shop, they say. It gets exceptionally dusty. Uh, and to some degree, at some point, I just give up on collecting the dust sometimes. <laughs> so I, I do what I can with the shop vac, but I do give up. As you can see over here, uh, normally I clean this up and pick through this and find the good pieces and keep a couple and burn the rest or use them for other things. Uh, so maybe I'll be doing that later. Um, so aside from the chaos here, I also want to talk about just a couple cool new additions to the shop, or as far as storage is concerned. So I added this, I'm um, calling it a jig trough here because it's kind of like a trough that holds everything up. And this is fantastic. It keeps all of these heavy jigs that I'm normally picking up from under the workbench, and now they're right here at sort of hip level, so I'm never bending over to pick them up. I do have back problems, and so this is a long needed solution to those back problems. So if you were like me, you might wanna do something like this in your shop. Uh, let's see what else. I also reorganized uh, some of my tools onto these neat little tool holders that I built into the window sills and against the walls. And I'm putting up a couple more of those in different places. And that's one of many of the reasons why the workshop is in such chaos right now because I'm kind of rethinking uh, everything as far as organization goes. Anyway, just wanted to share. Uh, I hope that was interesting and you got something out of it, or at least, you know, you got to see uh, some of the reality behind the clean footage that I normally put out. Somewhat clean footage. Anyway, take care. If you learned something here, please give this video a like and subscribe so you can be notified when I release a new DIY guitar making video. And if you want to really learn more, take one of my structured online courses at ericshaferguitars.com or register for a hands-on guitar building workshop here with me in Burnville, Pennsylvania.